Chris, this is all about you. This is your reading. Uh, for, for Christmas, Merry Christmas, Taurus. First, I want to say thank you so much for your support of the channel and helping it grow. We're going to have a blow-up year next year. I want you to be a part of it. So, let's get into your weekly oracle and tarot card reading, Taurus. For Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Taurus energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days out. Taurus, if it don't fit, please don't squeeze it. You don't have to. One size does not fit all, just to let you guys know. Let's see what the cards have. Remember, we do a, I do a full tarot, um, oracle card spread here on YouTube. Uh, and I'll flip the camera around so we can review the cards as well. And then we'll go over. There's an extended link below. Always, if you choose to come over, um, there's a full tarot card spread that extends the reading as well as a romance reading for the next seven days out. So what is this energy coming in for Taurus? I have to say, you guys have been the most consistent in terms of what card keeps flipping out in terms of your romance. Your romance. It keeps flipping out, and I, I just, I'm so sure of, of what's coming toward you. So, a rebirth is assured. Oh, you're about to come to life. So, this is regenerative energy. This is, this is second chances at life, but this is also coming out of the dark. This is um, seeing things from a different perspective, almost like that hangman energy, but getting ready to take off and get out of that hangman stance and be able to just fly. This is energy of... Um, a scorpionic energy, if you will, Taurus, of maybe you have a Scorpio coming back to you or, or it's got nothing to do with Scorpio. It's really just plutonic energy change. Do you see that five on the card? There's a major shift that's happening. And I feel like this is the first, it's almost like this is a feeling of the first time you ever realized that you were alive. The first time you ever felt like you were actually here and existing and important. This is coming to life. A big major energetic shift is coming toward you, Taurus, that has to do with a rebirth, a birth, a new start, could be new life coming into your life. Making a change that's more aligned with who you are inside, like who you are authentically. coming out of the dark if there was oh clarity truth coming through you finally realizing something or information finally making its way to you that you didn't realize or that had been hidden from you this is something that hides in the dark and then comes out comes out by moonlight so there is an invested interest in secretiveness um, that begins the energy of this card, but it comes out. So this card is about bringing the light into the darkness. Um, revealing something, something being revealed and changing you, changing who you are. Not changing yourself for the, the benefit of others, but like actually being able to come alive. You know that song from um, The Greatest Showman? Come alive. You know, like that, that's the energy of you're finally coming alive. This is also the energy of universally having gone through hard times and having gone through hardships and now coming out of that and the shift being made into an easy, a sense of ease, a stronger sense of self, um, realization and enlightenment. That's your crowning energy for us. That's your crowning energy. It's just beginning of the reading. Let's get into Taurus energy. Taurus energy for the next seven days. What can Taurus expect? Oh, lots, lots of energy is coming out for you. Um, lots of energy. This is not all your energy. These cards go back. <laughs> I just want to be sure that they're all all right, Taurus. Um, interesting. I want to finish the shuffle. This is a lot of cards, though. This is a lot of cards. But clearly, one more had to come out. And it's facing straight up. Two are facing straight up. And they're very flattering energies for you. So, this is Taurus energy, actual Taurus energy. Being grounded, but seeing in the distance. In other words, knowing where you want to go or where your future is headed. 
and two Virgo energy maybe you're dealing with a tourist a tour a tourist maybe you're dealing with a Virgo because this is very Virgo energy of laying a foundation this is a, a feeling of of family of building for the future of uh, thinking of a bigger picture a larger picture but actually getting to work on it so it's like you've you've got your focus in sight now you know what you want and you're going to start working on it and building it and i feel like this is why a rebirth is assured this is an energy of you weren't sure there was an ambiguous sentiment toward the energy that you were living in probably for a couple months maybe even years Maybe for the first time in your life, you actually know exactly what it is that you want so that you can start putting plans into place and building that. This could have been something that you didn't even expect that you'd be interested in, but all of a sudden it came to you and it's in sync with you and you feel that energy and that charge with it and you feel like you know you want to keep committing yourself to it. You have direction now, Taurus, that you didn't have before. If this is love and romance, this is probably Virgo or a fellow Taurus. This is an energy of meeting somebody that you'd want to spend a long time with. Somebody that, that you know, first of all, they themselves are solid. They're committed to things like family and structure and, and long-term commitment. But they're also somebody that you could see yourself with in the future. So this is the, this is not the, it's not the future. It's it's, it's the planning and the starting, the breaking of ground now, because now you know what it is you want. It doesn't have to just be romance at all. This is be playful, but this energy is upside down, which is you're getting to work. In the middle of the holiday season, you it's like that inspiration was all you needed, and you're like, you're getting to work. Now you know the direction, now you have the plans, and now you're all set. It's almost like this, what's been relieved off of you is not knowing what's been relieved off of you is um uncertainty now you're certain you don't care you don't care about the work ahead of you that doesn't even intimidate you what was irritating you or intimidating you was you couldn't even make up your mind you didn't even know what was what the direction is set the inspiration is there you have locked into what it is that is important to you or this is an energy that's coming at you. So somebody has locked into what is important to them and it's you. Either way, you're not playing around anymore. There's no more playing games. You are 100% future focused and prepping and ready. Oh, hold on a second. No, oh. trust in divine detours. This is Sagittarius energy. I bet you, oh, oh, oh. there were two more cards. Taurus, there were two more cards that fell out. Two more cards that fell out. This is Sagittarius energy. I bet you got redirected. A, like a hard, like 180 turn type of thing. Like a hard right or a hard left. But there is something that surprised you. Something, an interest, an opportunity, um, a lover that came out of the blue and you didn't realize it. But it changed your life. Think on your feet. You had to improvise. If this came out of you out of the blue. It took it, it incorporating. You had to be playful in order to. You had to be playful back then. But this is in relationship toward. This is, in other words, what's happening now is in direct relation or direct outcome from that major shift that you went through. It's 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 almost like you needed to shift your focus in order to see what you needed to see to know your direction. And that happens sometime during Sagittarius season. This is telling you to go with the flow. Trust in, trust in where you're being led. Don't um, set your sights too quickly or too firmly on, no, 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 wait, no. This has more to do with just Sagittarian energy. So it had to do with being setting your sights or, or getting this shift or this confusion and this chaos that happened in Sagittarius season had a purpose and the purpose is being realized today. Now you're realizing, oh, that's why all this, the, all this craziness happened in Sagittarius season and the craziness happened to redirect your focus toward what was going to be your true passion because it felt like chaos. It felt like craziness. 
but it wasn't. This is you making a decision. This is you realizing your strength and your power and the fact that you're deciding your own future and you're starting to weave it, get into work. This is also mother and grandmother energy of somebody maybe trying to pull your strings too much or dictate too much to you what they want from you. Maybe you feel like this energy has been around. You've been, you've been almost feeling like you've been walking in somebody else's spider web. And this is the big shift is that this person, it's almost like you realizing this person wasn't as stable as you thought they were. And, and yes, that was a big shift and a big thing for you to realize because that sort of, first of all, it liberated you, but it also made you feel insecure because you were so used to this person giving you the structure, right? Telling you where to step or else you get stuck. And, and without this person, not to say that you've lost anybody, Maybe you have, but to say that without this person whittling too much, it for forced you into a state of kind of chaos and then it allowed you, it's like now it's turning around and it's not just chaos, it's actually liberation, it's freedom. And you have found in this switch, in this switch of heading, your soul purpose, your real true purpose in life. Time to let go. There is an energy of something closing out and closing down, something that has gnawed at you for a long time. And I do really feel like it is more this manipulative, controlling person that you're letting them go. It's not necessarily that you've lost them physically. I don't see specifically see death. In fact, the spider energy is very scorpionic energy. Um, Because it deals with weaving, weaving the fabric, the fabric of time that's eternal, not just Saturnian energy. Um, Saturnian energy would be Capricorn energy, which has to do with 3D time, right? This is about eternal time, and that's, that's Pluto. So this is about weaving between generations and letting go of those expectations that have been set for you, letting go and finally releasing and feeling free of and liberated from what you feel you have to do to succeed in somebody else's eyes. Trust the great mystery. You're diving in deep. It's almost like you're, you're willing at this point to dive in without all the answers because you don't need them. You don't need all the answers and you don't need the, the, the um, full blueprint. What do you need? You don't need anything. You needed the freedom. Look at there is always enough. There is Pisces coming through to help and support, to care and nurture. You have this strong sense of emotional support in your life. Somebody who, somebody, something, situation who believes in you and gives uh, you inspiration and gives you um, an abundance of emotional encouragement. Uh, and you do have the resources. That's the truth. So there's no need to be of like you basically you're pretty darn secure. You're swimming around and you feel balanced and you feel good because even though you don't know what's going to come, what you know is it's not going to be a repeat of the same old shit you were stuck in. And that Taurus is going to take you a very, very long way. You're going to get a little bit of a respite, especially over the next seven days. Maybe you're going on vacation. You know, maybe you're traveling away from your family because hello, sometimes that can really, <laughs> really help. My sister always says, it's not a real vacation unless you're going alone. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, um, just to let you guys know, this is an energy of mama bear, mama bear energy. You're protected as you travel. You're protected as you explore and as you journey down this new road of your life. You're protected so that you can take a time out. In other words, hibernate. This is a chance for you to give yourself a little bit of a respite, a little bit of a relaxation, a rest. This is not you being lazy, Taurus. I don't want you to tag that onto this card. This is, this is an essential part of the future and your success in the future, is you giving yourself a second and letting yourself just take a break. This is also the energy coming through, a spirit message saying you're protected. Spirit's got your back. Don't worry about it. We're going to guard you. We're going to protect you. Don't worry about it. You may be a little bit intimidated over maybe even this energy still, you know, somebody basically not approving. You may be intimidated to tell somebody like you're facing down a bear, <laughs> like intimidated to tell somebody what you're, where you're focus and your energy really is. You may be a little bit intimidated to tell them, but there's this energy of unconditional love and support that I think is, look at, look at, look at that bear and the fish. Bear wants to eat that fish. 
So it could be you're dealing with two different opposing forces in your life. Um, somebody, who, a force that's bullying and expectant and too hard and another force that's giving and malleable and sweet, but you know that the bear is sort of going to dominate the fish or you expect that the bear is just going to eat the fish alive. Maybe these are two different parents, a masculine and a feminine, right? Um, coming in and, and, and engaging a mask. It, could, it doesn't have to be parents, but um, engaging on your behalf. And it really seems like this bear is going to win. I don't think so. Because the truth is the vibe of this card, these cards with this reading, Taurus, is actually that the fish is in a more secure place, you know? And if the bear tries to eat it, it's just going to swim deeper. Spirit has your back. You have divine intervention. This could be money coming through, a mortgage coming through, or you being approved for a loan. This has to do with an institution accepting you, wanting you, being accepted to a school, being hired. This being hired by a new job. This has to do with um, this has to do with an offer. So you know that you you're getting offers. In other words, there's a stamp of approval. This is this is Saturnian energy. So. This is the energy of there's a stamp of approval on the choices that you've made for the 3D world. You're getting a stamp of approval and you're getting, you're seeing it. So it's the 3D stamp of approval. In other words, yes, you did get that job. Yes, you did get accepted to the program. Yes, you did get accepted to that school. There is a 3D validation of this shift that you feel. Um, watch and wait. This is also Piscean energy. Once again, watching and making sure that they keep touch with you, keep track of you, caring about you, very protective. This is definitely paternal energy because you know the seahorse, the father carries the babies. So this is definitely the energy of somebody just wanting to know that you're okay, wanting to be still being protected of you, but it's a more gentle, less contrived protection. Co-create with spirit. So divinely guided, use your voice. This is your voice coming out for the first time this week it is spirit talking and speaking through you because now you speak with certainty. You speak with, um, look at one plus seven, one plus seven is eight. This is eternity, infinity, and destiny. Now you, in other words, now you're aligned Taurus this week is when you get in alignment with your star player, as Cat Williams would say. You are in touch with your star player. You're aligned with your star player. And you're actually so aligned this week that you're just you're just now able to share your direction with other people. Spirit has a plan. This is all divinely guided. You are definitely in harmony this week. Time to collaborate. Somebody coming into your life, You time to get to work. Because now you know the work, you know the purpose of it. This is you coming together with somebody else, somebody helping you, basically working in partnership with you. And this could be a romantic partnership or it could just be an actual partnership. But definitely this intent of, and I feel like, excuse me, this work has a higher purpose to it. It's almost like if you are if you just got a new corporate job, it's working for Save the Children or something like that. There's So even if it is a corporate job and you do have a salary, there is this altruism aspect toward what you, what's important to you. And it's coming into you right here, right now, like a moth to a flame. You are not going to be able to resist this energy. And this is your grounding energy. So this is the kind of work that you just can't resist. You're so into it and you're so digging it that you're just going to fly right into the flames and you don't even care. Claim your independence standing in your own power. I feel like you have staked your claim to who you are. And if somebody was being too dominant, domineering or controlling, you you have gently, peacefully and softly told them to go themselves and moved on in the direction that you need to work. See, because even though you're not being like on the surface, see, this is shallow playfulness, right? This is cat is playfulness in terms of cats are playful because they know who they are. And they have 100% security everywhere they go because they know that they don't need any outside support. They have their own internal equilibrium. And that's what you have found. You have aligned yourself. You're in alignment now. You know your direction. You know your purpose. Maybe you even know your person. So this doesn't mean that you're going to end up single. It means you're going into this week single or you're going into this week you're going into this passion and this direction, knowing that it's right for you and the person that is coming along with you 
they're right in sync. It's right for both of you. So you're approaching, even if this is a romantic situation, you're approaching this as two individuals meeting on the same path, which is the card that I keep getting for you. I'll, re I'll attach that romantic tarot reading above. It comes out almost every week for you. Hold on, I'm gonna turn around the cards to review. Okay, so what, you, what did I say? This was a big spread, but I feel like there was a lot of voices. There's a lot of harmony here. So there's a lot of nuances and a lot of notes, and that's what I mean. It wasn't just a boom, boom. It wasn't a hard, it wasn't a hard, hey, go screw yourself. It was a, in other words, you, you, you argued a good case. You did, you found all the right notes to play, to convince somebody, or even a part of your, an aspect of yourself, that this was the right thing to do. And it was the right thing to do. You didn't have to really convince them. You just had to like quiet them and make them take the hooks out of you. And like I said, this could be an aspect of yourself. This could be a dynamic that you, of yourself that you needed to let go of and release. Because it wasn't about controlling everything or somebody pulling your strings or making, I feel like it has to do with making you feel safe. You didn't feel safe in the world. You know, you, you were convinced that you weren't safe in the world because honestly, making you feel unsafe was a great way for somebody to control you and to keep on their attachment to you. And I feel like there's just this awakening to realizing how bad that's actually been, how wrong that's actually been. And you, it doesn't matter how they feel. It matters how you feel. And Taurus, you've liberated yourself. You've liberated yourself from this circumstance. So where are you going? Where are you headed? What is your direction? Is this, um, is this a relationship that's coming into you? I can tell you right now, it is divinely guided. And it has to do with alignment to some sort of energy of wholeness and oneness with spirit. Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like you're working or doing something, even if you're getting paid. It's, it's beyond. It's, it's about more than just you. In other words, there's passion here. There's passion and there's purpose and you know your direction. I'm going to extend this reading, guys, over on Vimeo. And I'm also going to go into your romance reading, which will be very interesting for this reading because there is definitely undertones of collaboration. So I'll see you over there.